India accounts for 25% of the global burden of TB. No country has more cases of TB than India. Despite the scale up of the DOT strategy, the TB incidence refuses to go down. And we know worse and worse forms of drug resistance have emerged in India, especially in urban hotspots like Mumbai. The Indian government has just announced a very ambitious plan, universal access to quality TB diagnosis and treatment in India. The question is, what is the strategy for measuring quality of care for TB in India? That is where we think our proposal of using mystery clients to study and improve quality of TB care could be uh, the next big push for improving quality of care in India. How are we going to do that? We're going to standardize patients to act as TB patients and send them to healthcare providers, public, private, qualified and unqualified in India to see how exactly they are managed. This approach of standardized patients was recently used in a large study in India by Jishnu Das and colleagues and this study found some really startling results of very poor quality of care across three diseases in both public and private sectors. And we want to try this out for TB for the first time in India. We're going to train patients to act as three, three cases of TB, lymphatic TB, people who walk in with all sorts of lab results to show how, uh, see how providers act on them, and somebody who's completed six months of TB treatment and is yet having symptoms and suggestive of drug resistance. We know private sector is an important source of care in India and there are qualified and unqualified providers. Therefore, we want to cover all segments in this particular study. If successful, we think the TB control program in India will have the data they are looking for to A, try it out on a larger scale and if successful, to implement it on a much larger scale as part of the routine uh, TB program in India to reach the goal of universal access. Thank you.